April and I, she's back there. We're uh, coming down to Kane Space Center for the SpaceX launch today, and as you can see, it's a busy day. A lot of people in town with spring break stuff, so the traffic right now is a standstill trying to get in to the visitor complex. Uh, we're still trying to decide if we're going to stay there to watch the launch or if we're going to go over to uh, the uh, Saturn V building, I believe it's Banana Creek uh, launch area. I think it's Banana Creek. Uh, but that's one of the other places. It's just fairly closer. It's still both about six miles from the launch pad. Uh, but right now, we're still sending traffic, and uh, hopefully we'll see what happens once we get closer, or can actually see the visitor center, but we're away from that. So, see you a little bit. Well, the drive is normally about two, a little over two hours for us. Today, four hours. It took us about an hour and a half just to get into the visitor complex because... Uh, it's a busy day here today with the launch. So the traffic is very backed up and then... I already see like flooding of people. Yeah, there's already people waiting up there. So it was just a long line just to uh, get in and with the parking with the passes there, it takes a little bit, so... I'm gonna try and get some good Pokemon. And she's here to get Pokemon. So again, we're hopefully here to see a launch too, but uh, it's April 9th today. Mommy and Logan stayed home. Uh, she's recouping. Other than that, uh, we're here. All right, we'll wait for the launch. Most definitely a busy day. We're used to kind of walking up and just going on in, but uh, a lot of people here with spring break. A lot of people here with uh, for the launch too. So it's kind of a double whammy. These are shuttle wheels. That's a heavy Hubcat. And got some banners. The Atlantis. Here's another view. Side view. We can't go upstairs because. April's afraid of heights, so we're just going to do this right now underneath. Another time I'll go back up top and uh, do a view from up there. But again, some other things you can see here from the bottom floor. If you dare to go through a clear tube three stories up. You got the slide over here that uh, mimics the angle that the shuttle has to come down. The slide. There's, of course, the nose point that would uh, attach to the ex external tank. <coughs> it's kind of weird, too, up there, Todd. They're, they're playing, uh, uh, you hear the sounds of sonic booms. If you're up there not expecting it, kind of jolt you. Information about the wings of the shuttle. And if I remember right, hearing about Atlantis, once they did this, uh, they left the Atlantis as it is. As it came off its last mission, they didn't place any tiles, anything. Uh, so as it shows up here in the building, is how it came from its last mission. So it shows a little bit of wear and tear. And then over here in front of us, we're coming to one of the uh, shuttle vans. Astro van, as they call it. that take astronauts out to the shuttle. Apparently they always played this. I didn't know I read about this the other day. They would play low hand poker. Uh, they played it every time and they could not go out to the launch pad until the commander uh, won one hand. So until the commander of the mission won a hand, they would not go out. So There's a tradition for them to play. And you can see this is an airstream. It's a modified airstream. And this right here is the prototype of what they imagined this shuttle would be back in 1969. They have a little bit about this on the uh, movie upstairs before you go see Atlantis. Uh, but right there, 
April 1st, 1969, and you know, just yesterday, what? 40, oh, I'm gonna do math. It's going on 50 years almost, so 49 years? Yeah, 49 years. 49 years ago, yesterday, or was that 59? I told you I'm bath math right now. Let's see, 31, yeah. You guys can do your math, put it in the comments down below. Help me out. That's the prototype, what he threw. Uh, one thing. <coughs> so really kind of avoid coming in here, especially for myself. Uh, just cause, oh my God. Um, kind of for this very reason. You know, this is kind of what I grew up with. That's part left side challenger body panel. And then this is Columbia's cockpit windows. <laughs> you know, it was real back in 86 and 2003 when it happened, but be here, you know, staying in front of it is kind of brings back a lot of memories. But we've moved on. There's McAuliffe, the teacher in space. This is amazing stuff that gets donated. Right above us is Atlantis. I know it's big, but it just seems so much bigger on TV. I'm not saying it isn't big, but just to. be right here underneath it so just give you an idea of where we're at we're at the uh, visitor center at the uh, viewing section here we're about six miles away from launch pad but they've got benches and soup booths and food we just got to eat inside though so April's right here we're all set to go and again hopefully that rain back there stays away There's images up on the screen from the International Space Station. Pretty awesome feeling right now. So April and I had to come get some shade for a little bit. We were out there by the uh, behind the Atlantis building by the Vista thing, but it's on turf and it's about 85 degrees out, so it's kind of hot. Need to help try. Red. Yeah, need to keep keep her cool so she doesn't tick as much. Uh, so we're over here by the. Uh, but the space shop and there's a line to get into the space shop and I tell you it is busy out here it is busy today uh, so just trying to find an area to be able to view they've uh, closed off the Saturn 5 uh, area no more buses going out there it is at capacity um, over there at the business complex it is we're walking through a wave of people just trying to get over here so uh, again a lot of spring breakers a lot of people here for the launch 
but uh, compared to the last couple of times, it definitely is busy. So uh, a lot of people. Uh, so much put this way, can't even connect to Wi-Fi. I can hardly get any bars. Uh, I'm trying to text Selena, and it's taken me three times to send the same message. So even their uh, Wi-Fi is getting overwhelmed with how many people are trying to connect and uh, send messages. So it's, it, it's a busy day. There it is, April. this is going to be a uh, return rockets or not so we'll wait and see if the Falcon 9 comes back we can hear that sonic boom that's where we're waiting on next all right so that's it here from here at Kennedy Space Center again the Falcon 9 launch went off April got to see her first rocket launch uh, that's my first Falcon launch I've seen space shells but a uh, new space era looking forward to it hopefully more of these to come really want to make it down for a uh, Falcon Heavy when they launch the next one for that. So we've got the man behind us here who says on the path uh, to get into space. Anything else you guess, April? Yeah. Meh. Y'all have good fun. Here's what we say at the end. Love, hugs, and belly rubs. <laughs>